this video, I'm going to prove the following theorem. If n and r are both positive integers with r being at least 1 but less than n, then the binomial coefficient n choose r is an integer. If you like seeing mathematical proofs like this, you should consider subscribing to my channel because that's all we do on this channel. Now, the proof follows from this fact, which were proven in my two previous videos. Let P be any prime. then the highest power the highest power of p that divides say n factorial is this number the summation as k goes from 1 to infinity of n over p to the k greatest integer part. So, for example, if p is equal to 7 and this is 4, what we're saying is that 7 to the 4th divides n factorial, but 7 to the 5th does not divide n factorial. This here, this sum, which will be an integer, that's the power, the highest power of p that will divide n factorial. Okay. So, we just spoke about n factorial. So, we covered the top. Now, let's do the same for the other two factorials. The summation of n minus r over p to the k, the integer part of that, as k goes from 1 to infinity, for some particular k, is the highest power that P divides N minus R factorial. If this is equal to K, well, let's not use K. If this is equal to, say, S, then P to the S divides n minus r factorial, but no higher power of s will. Likewise, the summation of r over p to the k, the greatest integer, as k goes from 1 to infinity, if this is equal to t, this is the highest power of P such that P to the T divides R factorial. Okay. Now, we established these three definitions. Now, we also have another fact that this greatest integer of a plus b is greater than or equal to the greatest integer of a plus the greatest integer of p. We've proven that in our prior video. Now, let's put everything together. n is equal to r 
plus and minus r. Now I divide everything by p to the k. This here is like a plus b. Well, I didn't put greatest integer yet, but that's a and this is b. So the greatest integer of n over p sub k, p to the k, is greater than or equal to the greatest integer of r over p to the k plus n minus r over p to the k. And this is for all primes p. This is for all p. Now, since this is O and and for all k. So what we can do is, no matter what k is, this is always greater than or equal to this plus that. So if I sum up from 1 to infinity for each k, this is greater than r over p to the k plus n minus r over p to the k for every k. So even if I sum up, I still have this inequality. Okay, now look, let's see exactly what we have here. We know what this is, but what is this? What is that? What does that mean? Well, if you have r factorial times n minus r factorial, this here, let's suppose it equals to q. This tells me that the largest power of p that goes into r factorial is q. That is, p to the r, sorry, p to the q divides into r factorial, but p to the q plus 1 doesn't. And if this is equal to u, this tells me that the highest power of p, that is, p to the u, will divide into n minus r factorial, but nothing else will. Okay, so what's the largest power of p that will divide into the whole thing? And the answer is p to the q plus u. Ooh, that's just what I have here. p, sorry, p, yeah, q plus u. That's the largest power of p that will divide into r time, r factorial times n minus r factorial. Now, if this is equal to v, if the largest power that goes into n factorial is p to the v, and v is bigger than or equal to q plus u, that means that, that means that, so let's write down what we have. Try to do it in the same order. We have r factorial times n minus r factorial, and here we have n factorial. So I can divide n factorial by p to the q plus v, and just remember q, q plus u, excuse me. That's less than or equal to v. So p to the q plus u will go into that. And in the bottom, I can divide the bottom by p 
to their q say times p to the u now the thing is the top will be an integer and the bottom will also be an integer. But here's the deal. This is true for all primes. This is true for all primes. So R factorial times N minus R factorial, maybe the prime factorization is P1 to the K1, P2 to the K2, all the way up to PR to the KR. But here's the deal. The numerator has to have the same primes and maybe more q1 q2 up to q sub s and the power of p1 has to be greater than or equal to p1 because this will divide into it remember the greatest power of our P1 for this bottom is smaller than or equal to the power of P1 on the top. This here will be either P2 or more. This power will be KR or more. So all of these powers in the bottom are going to get eaten up by some powers in the top, by the powers in the top. And what we're gonna ultimately end up with is an integer. Okay, so this is for all P. Okay, so whatever primes go into n minus r factorial and r factorial. This statement is true. The highest power of n factorial will be larger than or equal to the highest power of p that is obtained from this. Hence, n factorial over r factorial times n minus r factorial is an integer. That completes this video. If you like seeing mathematical proofs like this, then please consider subscribing to my channel. See you guys in the next video. Don't forget, watch and learn.